Hi everybody, this is Crystal. Welcome to my channel, Baggity Crochet, where we talk about everything that is yarn and crochet related. So today I'm going to be doing a stitch tutorial, or not a stitch tutorial, a throw blanket tutorial. I'm going to show you how to make this throw here, which is very, very beautiful. Everybody always asks, what is my favorite crochet stitch? This is it. <clears throat> this is my favorite crochet, crochet stitch in the whole wide world. It is the Harlequin stitch. If you, if you look, it is very similar to the Catherine wheel, but the Catherine wheel is more circular than the Harlequin has a more square look to it. So yes, this is my favorite stitch and it's also crocheted in my favorite color of brown. Of course, you can use any colors that you like. So this isn't a hard stitch. I'll show you how to do it. Um, and this one has a crab stitch border, as you can see, but you can border it any way you'd like. And this is just a simple border that went around. So yes, I love it. I think it's very gorgeous. I'm going to set it to the side. I don't have a lot of room to show you here, but let me move it over here and we'll talk about the yarn. Okay, now you can use any yarn that you'd like. Um, that is a four weight because that is what I use for the tutorial. Um, I use Hershner's yarn their worsted weight eight it is a 100 percent acrylic medium weight number four now i used four colors now you can do the harlequin in a solid color or you can do it in every row a different color it's actually a good scrap buster afghan um to tell you the truth but i used four colors so i'll go ahead and tell you what colors i used so i used um, I started with lightest to darkest, and I just went in that order. So, the first color that I used, there's 489 yards per ball in one of these. First color is called sandstone. And then I used walnut next. And then it went to pecan. And then it went to espresso now remember you can use any colors you want and any four weight yarn that you want but in total you're going to need about 2600 yards of a four weight yarn to make this blanket and it is approximately <clears throat> the size here sorry i have it written down right here um it is approximately 45 by 67. Now I will give you the multiple of the stitch so you can make it wider if you want to or use this stitch for something else. I also have other things made out of the Harlequin stitch. I'll link those tutorials below in case you're interested. Shawls, bags, stuff like that. So uh, look for those in the description box. And then we're going to be using a size J, which is a six millimeter crochet hook. So let's go ahead and get started on this. All right, so the Harkin stitch is done in a multiple of eight plus two. I'm going to show you on a smaller scale, but if you want to make it the size that I did, you want to chain 194 stitches. So once you get your chain of 194, row one, we are going to do one single crochet in the second stitch from the hook. So remember, we don't count the one that's on our hook. So there's one there, and in the second one, we're going to put a single crochet. And then we're going to work it down the chain, putting one single crochet in every stitch until we get to the end. So row one is one single in every stitch until you get to the end of the row. All right, so once you make it to the end of row one, we'll go ahead and we're gonna start row two. So row two, we are going to chain one and turn our work. So that chain one does not count as a stitch. It doesn't count as anything. So we're going to work a single crochet right here into this very first stitch just like that and now we are going to start the repeat of row two we are going to skip three stitches one two three so skip 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 and we're going to be working in the next one and then the next one we're going to put three double crochets into it there's 
one, two, three, and then we're going to chain one and we're going to go back into the same stitch and work three double crochets. Just like that. And then we're going to skip three stitches again. One, two, three. And the next one, we are going to single crochet. And that is the repeat of row two. So we'll go ahead and start again by skipping three stitches. Skip, skip, skip. And in the next one, we're going to work three double crochets. There's one. two, three, chain one, and three more double crochets into the same stitch. One, two, three, skip three stitches, skip, 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 and single crochet into the next. And this is what we're going to repeat until we get to the end of row two. So again, we're going to skip three stitches, one, two, three, and then the next we work three doubles. Oh. There's one, two, three, chain one and three more doubles back into the same stitch skip three one two three and single crochet into the next so i'm going to keep repeating this pattern until i get to the end of row two all right i'm coming to the end of row two and you should be able to complete uh, finish out a complete repeat. So I just did three doubles, chain one, three doubles, and I have four stitches that remain. I'm going to skip three and single crochet into the last. And that will end row two. And we're going to switch colors here before we start row three. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and bring in another color. I like to tie off when I switch colors. So there's my single crochet. I'm going to clip this yarn here. And I'm going to bring in a different color. You don't have to switch colors if you don't want to. Of course not. All right. So I'm going to bring in another color. So I still got the front side of my work facing me. And we're going to start row three. And row three starts the repeat rows for the whole pattern. It's rows three, four, five, and six. So it is just a four row repeat. So go ahead and, and put your yarn there. Start your yarn there in that single crochet where you just ended in. And I'm going to tie my tails together so they don't slip away from me. And then later I can sew them in. But I'm going to start row three. I'm going to chain one. And I'm going to turn my work. So that chain one does not count as a stitch. So I'm going to go ahead and put a double crochet right back here into this very first stitch. Double crochet. Like that. Now I'm going to work a double crochet three together over the next three stitches. So right here. And this is how we're going to do the double crochet three together. We're going to yarn over, go into the next stitch, and draw up a loop, and yarn over and go through the first two loops. I'm going to yarn over and go into the next stitch, draw up a loop, yarn over and go through the first two loops. Then we're going to yarn over and go into the next stitch, draw up a loop, Yarn over and go through the first two loops, and you'll have four loops that remain. Yarn over and go through all four loops, just like that. So that's a double crochet, three together. Now we're going to work a chain of seven. One, two, 
three, four, five, six, seven. Now that chain seven starts the repeat row four, row three. So we chain set, we chain seven, and now we're gonna skip this chain one here, and we're gonna work a double crochet six together over the next six double crochets. So you see there's three here, and then there's three on this side, and there's this single crochet right here. We're just gonna skip right over that single crochet and not even work into it. So we got our chain seven. Now we're gonna yarn over and go skip this chain one, go into the next stitch, draw up a loop, and yarn over and go through the first two loops. Again, yarn over, go into the next stitch, draw up a loop, yarn over and go through the first two loops. Again, yarn over and go into the next stitch, draw up a loop, yarn over and go through the first two loops. Now we're skipping that single crochet right there and we're gonna work in these three doubles here. So we're gonna yarn over and go into the next double, <clears throat> drop a loop, yarn over and go through the first two, yarn over and go into the next double, drop a loop, yarn over and go through the first two, yarn over and go into the next double, drop a loop, yarn over and go through the first two, and now you should have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven loops on your hook. We need to yarn over and go through all seven loops, just like that. And that was a double crochet six together. And we skipped that chain one there. Now we're gonna start our repeat again by chaining seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then we're going to do our double crochet six together, leaving this single crochet here unworked. So skip this chain space here and yarn over, go into the next double crochet, drop a loop, and yarn over and go through the first two and we want to do that over the six double crochets so that was one two three skip this single go over to the next double four five six, seven loops on your hook, yarn over and go through all seven, just like that. And then we repeat by chaining seven again and repeating that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And we're gonna repeat that and so we get to the last four stitches of our row. So I'll meet back up with you when we get to the last four stitches of row three. All right, I'm coming here to the end and you can see I have three doubles left and the single crochet at the end. So I went ahead and I chained seven. Now we need to make this side match this side. So we do a double crochet three together over these three double crochets here so go ahead and work your double crochet three together just like that and then we are just going to go directly without chaining and do a double crochet into the last stitch and that will end, that's what it starts to look like, row three. So now we'll go ahead and start row four. We're going to chain one and turn our work. Now that chain one does not count as a stitch. And we're going to work a double crochet right here into this very first stitch. Just 
just like that. And we're going to go back into the same spot and we're going to work three more double crochets into the same spot for a total of four double crochets there. One, two, three. So counting that first one now, we have four. Now we're going to start the repeat of row four. We're going to put a single crochet in the, this chain one space here from the previous row, but we need to enclose this chain space here. So we just go kind of, I just kind of hold the chain space down like that and I go through this chain one space and single grab it and single crochet them right together, just like that. Now that chain one space is single crocheted into place, so we don't have to worry about it moving around. And now we are going to be working into the center or the eye of the little circle here or the cluster, which is right here. And we're going to go right into it and we're going to work three double crochets. There's one. two, three, and then we're going to chain one and we're going to put three more double crochets back into that stitch. It's like that. And that is the repeat for row four. So let's go ahead and start again. So we're going to do a single crochet into this chain one space, but we're going to lock this chain seven down with it. So go into the space and make sure you get that chain seven in there and single crochet it down like that. There we go. And now we're going to jump right over here to the eye of the cluster or the circle. And we're going to go into that spot and we're going to work three doubles. Sorry, I dropped my stitch. Three doubles. There's one, two, three, a chain one, and three more doubles into that same spot. Just like that. So it's starting to take shape. And then we're going to re keep repeating that again for row four. We're going to single crochet right here in this chain space, but we need to lock this chain down. So just go into the space, make sure you got this chain space with it. And single crochet, just like that. Now we're going to jump over here to the eye of this cluster and work our three double crochets. Chain one and three doubles. And this is what we're going to repeat until we get to or near the end of the row. It's like that. So that's what it starts to look like. So go ahead and repeat this pattern um, until you get near the end. All right, so you make it to the end here. Here's your last chain. Uh, seven space. So we're going to single crochet it down. We're going to put a single crochet into this chain space from the previous row and lock that chain space down. Now we're going to put three double crochets into the eye of this space right here, this last cluster. It's actually like a half a cluster. So three doubles there. And then we're going to put a double crochet into the last stitch so it's kind of right down here. Just like that. So that'll end row four. Just like that. So now we're going to go ahead and start row five. I'm going to go ahead and change colors. So I'm going to go ahead and tie that off and I'm going to bring in another color 
bring back in my green again. Okay. And I'm going to start my yarn here. Just where I end it off. I am going to chain one, which does not count as a stitch, and turn my work. And I'm going to put a single crochet into the very first stitch. So right here, single crochet, like that. And then we're going to do a chain of three. One, two, three. And now we're going to start the repeat of row five. We're going to do a double crochet six together over the next six double crochets. So you got these three here and these three over here. And again, we'll be skipping this single crochet like we did before. So we're going to double crochet six together. Skip that single and jump over here to the next double. Seven loops, yarn over and go through all seven, just like that. And now we are going to work a chain of seven. seven and we are going to repeat so it's very similar to the row we did a couple rows ago so we don't work into this chain space and we're going to do double crochet six together over the next six double crochets skipping this chain one space and this is what we're going to repeat for row five There's three and then skip that chain one and then we do the next three doubles. Seven loops on your hook. Yarn over and go through all seven, just like that. And then we chain seven and repeat. One, two, three, four five six seven and repeat double crochet six together over the next six just completely skipping this single crochet here and skipping this chain one here I'm gonna do this until we get to the last cluster of our row skip that single crochet seven loops shown over and go through all seven and chain seven all right and this is what we're going to repeat until i'm already at the end here you just keep repeating that until you get to these last uh six double crochets here and we're going to do the double crochet uh six together skipping uh, this single crochet here and this chain one space. So there's six, and then, we're, then we got seven loops on our hook. We're gonna yarn over and go through all seven. Now we need to make this side match this side. So we need to do a chain of three and then we're going to single crochet into the top of this last stitch here on the end, which is a double crochet. And that'll end row five. So that's what it starts to look like. Now we'll go ahead and do row six, which is the final repeat of the row. We're going to chain one, which does not count as a stitch, and turn our work. And we're going to put a single crochet into the very first stitch. 
just like that. And we're going to skip this chain space, and now we're going to start our repeat so in of this of row six so in the eye of this cluster here we're going to work three double crochets there's one two three four five chain one and three more double crochets into that same spot just like that and then we are going to single crochet this chain one space down through this chain one or just this chain seven space down I'm sorry through this chain one space like we did a couple rows ago so just go right into that and single crochet it like that and that is what we're going to repeat all the way across. So we're going to jump over here to the eye of the next cluster, which is right there. And we're going to work our three doubles. There's one, two, three. And we're going to chain one and work three more doubles. One, two, three, just like that. And then we will single crochet this chain seven down by working in this chain one space from the previous row. Now we're going to repeat this until we get to the end of row six. So three doubles, chain one, three doubles into the eye of this cluster. And then single crochet this chain seven down by working a single crochet through this chain one space just like that so go ahead and repeat this until you get to the end of the row all right I'm coming to the end of row six I did three doubles chain one three doubles into the eye of this last cluster I'm gonna skip this chain three space here and I'm going to put a single crochet into the top of the last stitch. So that ends row six. So now we just keep repeating rows three, four, five, and six. Now remember, we always change colors at row three and at row five. If you want to change colors, that's the rows that we change colors on. Every time you repeat row three and every time you repeat row five five so I'm getting ready I just finished my repeat uh, row six so I'm getting ready to start my repeats again three four five and six so I would want to change colors if I want to change colors so I would tie off and start row three again with a different color if you choose remember you don't have to or you can find some yarn here and we would start row three again. Now you would want, you're going to keep repeating rows three, four, five, and six until you get your throw as tall as you would like it to be. Like I said, mine measures 67 uh, inches. So I repeated rows three four and five and three four five and six changing colors at every row three repeat and every row five repeat and i have a total of 60 complete little clusters so 60 of these and then a half one at the beginning 
here and then a half one also at the end so you want to end on a row five repeat and that would be a half cluster so keep repeating that that's just how many i did you can do it as big as you want uh three four five and six ending on a row five repeat and i'll meet back up with you i'm going to keep going and then i'll show you how uh what type of edge i put on it all right so i want you to get your piece as big as you want it to be and you just ended on a row five repeat let's go ahead and do a finishing row at the top to square it off a bit and then we'll go ahead and put an edging on it if you want to you don't have to use the edge that i do you can use a different one but i'll just show you what i did what was done for the blanket that i have okay so for the finishing row we're going to put chain one and turn our work we're going to put a single crochet into the very first stitch here and then we're going to put three single crochet into this chain three space so right through the space one two three and then we're going to put one single crochet into the eye of the cluster and then we're going to put three single crochets into this chain seven space so there's one two three and then we're going to put a single crochet down here into this chain one space from the previous row that'll kind of hold that chain seven down and then we're going to come over on this side of this chain seven and work three single crochets and this is what we're going to kind of repeat across just to get that top a little bit more straight again we're going to single crochet into the eye of that next cluster and then in the chain seven we're going to work three single crochets there's one two three and then we're going to come down here to this chain one space from the previous row and single crochet that chain down like that and then three single crochets on this side of the chain seven like that and again one single crochet into the eye of the cluster and again three single crochets in the chain seven and then single crochet down here into the chain one space from the previous row and then three single crochets on the other side of the chain seven and you just want to repeat this until you get to the end and i'm near the end here so i'm just going to put a single crochet in the eye of my last cluster and then i have a chain three here so i'm going to put three single crochets into that chain three and then one single crochet into my last stitch just like that so that's kind of the finishing row there to square it off a bit now you need to decide what type of edging that you like like i said mine's a very simple edging and i'll go ahead and show you how i did that um, i'm just going to use the same color that i have on my hook um, for the blanket that you see i use the light lightest color for all three rows of the edging so what we're going to do is we are going to evenly space out single crochets down the side along the bottom up the side out back the top and then we're going to put three single crochets in each of the four corners so we're going to go ahead and start out we're going to work down this side i'm going to try to hide these tails as i go now there's no uh, certain number that you have to have just do your best to evenly space out single crochets so i just kind of work down the side it's not going to be perfect just do your best to get your uh, single crochets just evenly spaced down the side remember it's not perfect if we wanted perfect we'd buy it from the store and like i said always say even then most of the time 
it's not perfect. So just do your best, evenly spacing out your single crochets to where your work doesn't start to buckle on you. If it starts to buckle, that means that you don't have enough single crochets. Go back and add a, add a few more there. But as long as it lays flat and doesn't buckle, that means the amount of single crochets you have is sufficient and will work just fine. And when you get down here at the bottom, sorry, I'm just trying to hide all the tail I made a big mess of. <laughs> Okay, when you make it down here at the bottom, we're going to put three single crochets into this corner stitch. One, all in the same stitch. Two, three. And now we are going to work across and putting one single crochet in every stitch across the bottom. You should be able to see pretty well where those need to go and again just do your best just like this until you get to the next corner and when you get to the next corner here we're going to put three single crochets into this corner this kind of helps round out the corner there. And then we're going to evenly space out our single crochets up this side. Just do the best you can. Remember, no certain number you needed. So this is what I'm going to continue to do all the way around my piece for the edging. I'm going to evenly space out my single crochets up this side and then I'll put three single crochets in this corner <clears throat> and then I'm going to put one single crochet in every stitch across the top and I'll meet back up with you right here at this corner where we started. All right when you make it back to where you started go ahead and put three single crochets in the final corner here. Now we're going to go around again so if you want to use a stitch marker you can. This time you'll be able to see your you'll be able to see your single crochets quite well. We're gonna work again one single crochet in every stitch until we get to the corner stitches. So go ahead and work down, putting one single crochet in every stitch. Now when you get to those three single crochets that are in a corner, this time we're going to put two single crochets in each of those three. So there's two single crochets in that first one that's in the corner. Two single crochets in the second one that's in the corner. And two single crochets in the third stitch that's in the corner. That's going to help the corners to lay flat so they're not popping up on you. And then we'll continue along putting one single crochet in every stitch all the way around until we get to our next corner. And we'll do the same at that corner. We'll put two single crochets in each of the three stitches that are in that corner. And we're going to repeat this pattern all the way around back to our starting point. One single in every stitch and two singles in each of the three stitches that are in our four corners. So I'm going to go ahead and, and do that and I'll meet back up with you at our starting point. All right, so I've made it back to my starting point and I'm going to go ahead and end by slip stitching. Here's my stitch marker into the next stitch. Like that. Now what I'm going to do is the reverse single crochet, otherwise known as the crab stitch. Okay, so the reverse single crochet or the crab stitch isn't hard to do. It's just a single crochet except for 
we're working it in the opposite direction. So it's just a little awkward at first. How about that? After, but after you get, get it down, it's easy. So we're going to go ahead and chain one and we'll skip this stitch right here. And what we're going to do is I like to put my finger on that spot and go like through the stitch like this, grab your loop and pull it up and then yarn over it like a single crochet, just like that. And then you go to the next stitch, put your finger on this loop and kind of put your hook in um, at this angle. This is the awkward part, this is how I do it anyways. And then grab your yarn, pull it through and single crochet. Again, the next stitch. See, once you get to going, it's real easy. And next stitch, just kind of at a downward angle you go through, draw up a loop, and do your single crochet. And we're going to do this in every stitch all the way around. And you see it kind of makes like a little bit of a rope appearance. Again. Put your finger kind of to hold that there and add a downward angle is what I do. Go through the stitch, draw up your loop. You got two loops there just like regular single crochet. Go through one all the way around. And when you get to the corners, you do nothing special. It's just one reverse single crochet in every stitch all the way around. And when you make it back to the beginning, you just slip stitch into your first one tie off and hide any remaining tails and this, that's how I did it now remember or uh, this is how it's done so now remember you don't have to do this border if you don't want to it'll look great with any border that you put on it or you don't even have to put border on it if you don't want to that's up to you but this is it I hope you enjoyed my tutorial remember when you make it all the way around slip stitch into the first one, tie off, hide tails, and you will be finished. And you'll have a beautiful throw. Just like that. So let me move this to the side and bring up the big blanket. And you can see a crab stitch on it all the way. Remember, nothing special at the corners just one crab stitch and every stitch all around the corner that's it so i hope you enjoyed hope you're able to follow along so if you make this i'd really really love to see a picture of it i'd really be interested to see what colors you chose for your harquin throw um you can show me a picture on my bag of day crochet facebook page and also you can come um and show me on instagram don't forget to hit that subscribe button and that like button and check out all my other over a thousand crochet tutorials they're all there free for you to enjoy thanks everybody for watching bye guys